I'm going to change this regular wall outlet out to a GFCI, which is a ground fault circuit interrupter outlet. Here are the tools I recommend for this job. A good screwdriver and a voltage tester. Basically, this tells you whether a line is hot or not. An optional tool would be this plug tester, also called an outlet tester. Um, there's some lights on the end, and as they light up, you follow the code, and it can help you troubleshoot whether you hooked something up correctly or not. The first thing you're going to do is turn the power off to that outlet. Now, check the outlet to make sure it is not hot. Remove this plate by removing this screw. Now take a screwdriver and remove these two screws until the outlet comes out of the box, like that. Now you will release the wires. As you see on each side of the outlet you have screws that connect the wires. Loosen these screws and disconnect the wires. As you can see, we have two sets of wires in the box. Each set has a white, a black, and a ground. Of course, in this case, the grounds are tied together, leaving one ground sticking out. The ground is the bare wire. One set will come off the switch and feed the outlet. This will be hot when we turn the switch on. We call that the line. The other set comes off of the outlet and feeds outlets downstream from it. We call that set the load. Now how do we know this side is the line and this side is the load? Well, when you turn the switch on, this side will be hot this side will not be hot. You can test that with a wire tester. Be very careful not to touch the bare wires when you do temporarily turn on the switch. I have turned the switch on and the side that lights up will be the line. The side that doesn't light up will be the load. We have found the line. We now know for sure that this side is the line and this side is the load. Now go turn the power back off. The power should be off now. I'm going to test one more time to make sure. Now take the GFCI outlet and turn it over. On the back side you will see where it says line and load. The line is pointing to both sides where you have screws, a gold and a silver. The load does the same thing. It points to a gold and a silver. The black wires, which are the hot wires, will be connected to the gold screws, and the white wires, which are neutral wires, will be connected to the silver screws. There is also a green screw, which takes the ground wire. So it's time to take the line, which we've determined this side over here, and I'm going to go ahead and hook it up first to the line terminals. So the black one goes on the gold screw. So I slide it into the terminal catch and I tighten the screw up. I test it and make sure it's tight. Now the line, here it is, Take the white 
on the silver screw, put it in the terminal and tighten. And test it. It's tight. Now for the ground, which is the green screw, I will slip the ground wire in and tighten it in. Make sure it's real tight and test it. It's tight. Now we hook up the load side. Right here. So I take the black to the gold, just like that, and I tighten it. And I test it. It's tight. Then I take the white to the silver and I tighten it. And test it. It's tight. Once you feel the terminal screws are tight enough, go ahead and double check to make sure the line is going to the line and the load is going to the load side. Also, double check to make sure the black is going to the gold screws and the white is going to the silver screws. Also, check the tightness on your ground as well. Fold and zigzag the wires like this to where you can push the outlet and wires back into the box and then secure with your screws. Make sure the outlet is straight and tighten the screws on the bottom and on the top. Now secure on the plate by tightening the screws on the top and bottom. Do not over tighten or you can crack the plate. I will now go turn the power back on to this outlet and test it. I've turned the switch back on and I'm going to use a plug tester to test to see if this is working properly. As you can see, these two lights went on. That means it's a correct setup. This red one did not. I test both of them and they're both correct. I will also test the trip buttons on the GFCI. You hit the test button and that kills the power to the outlet, as you can see. Hit the reset button and that turns the power back on. So those work as well. There's also a little light down here in the corner that you can use if you do not have a plug tester. This outlet is now ready to use.